Hello everybody on the Shop2 channel, it's George here and today, I know it's been a while, we have the Dead Rising 4 review. I've got a quick review because I'm kind of just summarising what I have written in my full review which you can find down linked below. I actually wrote a proper review, it's up on the Shop2 site and you can find it down below. So, Dead Rising 4 now is an Xbox One timed exclusive, let me say, available for a year only on Xbox One and PC I think has uh, Windows. 10 store has 60 days exclusivity over Steam I think but uh, it's coming to PS4 this time next year which is kind of good because it's got a Christmassy theme so it'll fit in well coming out this time next year and uh, what the Christmassy theme is something I'll come to a little bit later on but I'm talking from the perspective of never played a Dead Rising game before. I was looking forward to it, not gonna lie. I mean, I wanted to play Dead Rising 3, but I never got around to buying it in the end, and there's just so many games I've got to play. But anyway, let's get into it. So, my first impressions of Dead Rising 4 are, oh my god, this game is what I've been looking for. I mean, I've been looking for a game that I can sit down, play for 20 minutes, and then go away and come back like a few days later and play for 20 minutes, and it's fun again. So I don't feel like I've missed out on anything by not playing it continuously or maybe forgotten slight details. I'm not going to be like ruining the whole game by not playing it all in one go or missing a few bits here and there because this game is just supposed to be a massive like laugh and a good time and fun I mean that's what I see from my perspective like this game I'm not going into this game expecting the best story in gaming history I'm going into this game expecting a load of zombies a load of ridiculous weapons uh, uh, armor and stuff like that and being able to smash their living hell out of them which you can see I'm failing at doing but I get the hang of it smashing the crap out of zombies with a wrench oh it's just good fun you know you just got so many zombies it's ridiculous and then you get given some absolutely insane weapons to smash them up with which is just so much fun and it's something that you kind of miss in games like games are really serious these days and it's kind of nice to have a game where you can just go in and mess about and just do some silly stuff it's a bit like Saints Row where you could just do literally just some really stupid stuff so yeah I've never played it before and uh, I'm actually really enjoying it so far the setting now I want to talk about the Christmas setting is good I mean great for the time of year right now but in July, are you really going to want to listen to Christmas songs every time you pause the game? I'm not sure, but it works really, really well because Christmas is supposed to be a really happy time and then to have something awful like a zombie outbreak going on kind of really contrasts with it and I like that quite a lot. Graphics, gameplay, combat, everything like that is pretty solid. Uh, I like the combat system. The controls are really easy to get the hang of, which is good. And uh, the graphics are, you know, just they're, they're better than what you expect for this kind of game, if I'm honest. I mean, I like the graphics in this game. Uh, they're not going to be like record breaking, like Battlefield 1 or anything like that. But they're pretty good for this type of game. Moving on into the story, now as I said the story isn't going to be phenomenal but what I've played so far it seems like it's got a pretty cool plot and I can't wait to get more into it or further into the story. The characters are really really cool and uh, you can feel a connection with them and there's like definitely a little bit of comedic value in there as well which is kind of nice because you don't get that in games as I said they're all really serious. Uh, at the moment at least and it's nice to have a bit of a break with from that with a kind of stupid kind of a little bit of a silly that's a great way to describe it a silly game to you know just go on and just kill a load of zombies which is always fun so yeah overall uh, you can read my review down in the description as I said but it's a pretty good game I recommend you guys pick it up if you've got an Xbox I wouldn't say go out and buy an Xbox just to play it but if you've got an Xbox definitely pick it up and PS4 uh, especially if there's going to be some content updates available when it releases on PS4, be sure to look at it then. But uh, if you've got PC as well, check it out on Steam or Windows Store. I'd wait for Steam if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave links to everything down in the description. Be sure to check out my full written review down there. It goes into a lot more detail. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of my review. I know I'm not perfect, uh, but I'd like some constructive feedback if you're willing to give it. So my name is George. I'll be doing some more stuff on here and on the Shop2 News uh, like area on the website very, very shortly. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.